And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tiana Lizard Soup. We're going to have some fun today. We got a bunch of sweet donation decks and uh, this one is pretty crazy. We're going to be playing Fiora and Fizz together and seeing how they work out. So what we have here is we have Bayou Brunch being able to grow both our Fizz and our Fiora. Because both Fizz and Fiora are champions that can dominate the game on their own. You know, if you can keep making Fizz elusive and they can't kill your Fizz and you make a, a large Fizz, it can it can take over. That's what we're trying to do with our Bayou Brunch. Kind of same with Fiora, right? You just make Fiora a lot bigger and then you can kill your four enemies and win the game. So the the... Larger things that we're going to try to eat is Lounging Lizard, which is a 3-mana three 3-5. Three so Lounging Lizard go kind of goes perfectly with Bayou Brunch. We can kind of play those at the same turn. Play Lounging Lizard, play Bayou Brunch, um, you know, and have eat our Lounging Lizard to get plus 3, plus 5. Also, we could kind of do it the other way, though. Lounging Lizard is another card that, um, you know, maybe if we're not having like a Fizz or a Fjord, we can make Lounging Lizard a lot bigger with a Bayou Brunch and have a very big Elusive. We can do that as well. And then, uh, besides that, also Tiana. You know, Tiana being an 8-8, you know, we can play, like, 8-8, Rally. Like, especially if we turn 8, if we have, like, the 3 spell mana also, because the 3 spell mana can cast the Bayou Brunch, um, you know, we can, like, you know, like, attack with something, you know, like a Fiora, kill something, and then, you know, play Tiana, Rally, eat our Tiana, make it a lot bigger. And then also, you know, like with Bayou Brunch and Tiana, Tiana is a summon. So if our thing dies and we get Tiana back, then we get to rally again. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, we have some some strikes in here, a couple Judgment, three Concerted Strike to be able to help Fiora get some extra kills, some Repose to stay alive as well. Um, Sprayfin, another elusive where we can Bayou Brunch onto Sprayfin. Um, it's another thing we can do there. Uh, let's see. We have we have a few nabs, you know, just kind of keep the card advantage going, and you know, just be able to have some some different cards, you know, depending on what our opponent's playing. We got Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods. Pilfer Goods in particular is a burst spell, so that's good for Fizz. And so we got war, you know, we wanted to take we have warning shots for Fizz. We wanted to take good use of the warning shots, so we got got those going on. The Bright Steel Protector helps protect Fiora. Coral Creatures looks a little weird in here, but Coral Creatures makes the one cost spells, which are which are really good with Fizz, and honestly, Demacia has really good one-cost spells. Because you have Chain Vest, and Ranger's Resolve, Radiant Strike, you have some really good spells there. Basically, all of the one-mana spells that you can possibly make are going to be good for you, except for Jettison. Jettison not really doing a whole lot except for protecting Fizz. Uh, but there we go, so that's the deck. It looks pretty crazy. Who knows if it'll work? We're going to see. We'll just go play five games with Tiana Lizard Soup here, and let's... Uh, see what happens here with this Fizz Fiora deck. Alright, looks like we're playing against They Who Endure with just Callista. So, They Who Endure usually doesn't have very much removal and usually cannot block elusives. Also, Fiora very good against them. I'm gonna, so we're going to mulligan the Fizz. We don't really have the spells to make Fizz elusive, but I think we're going to try to go for the Fiora kill. Because uh, usually they play like a bunch of small things uh, that they don't really mind dying. What does he want like that. Me? And Fiora can do some good work eating up those things. Monastery has a lot of meme potential. I, I imagine Monastery Undying, so you can bounce and recast, Caretaker, Chronicler, etc. I could see that. Uh oh, this is starting to look scary. All right, I'm putting this Black Market Merchant in here just to be able to block this 3-2 so they, so they open attack. I have that thing as a blocker. These are cards that we're going to be playing in our next deck, in our Spooky Plaza deck. There you are! That fight! I long for a worthy opponent. Come on, boy. 
All right, lots of damage in. We got our first killed Fiora. Do need to be worried about like vile feast, unspeakable horror, that kind of stuff. They're out there. I'll spot them. Um, so I, I could buy you brunch and eat the bright steel protector, so that it doesn't die to vile feast or unspeakable horror. But then I don't have the mana for judgment, and I, I kind of like. I know it's a little greedy, but I kind of want to attack here, and then next turn have judgment available. But the thing is, I can't really pass. Because if they do have the Vile Feast, right, then I can't, I can't really pass and try to Judgment next turn anyway, so... It's either play around Judgment with the Bayou Brunch, or not play around Judgment at all. Or not Judgment by Man Unspeakable Horror. That's what I meant. Okay, I guess I should have played around Unspeakable Horror. They did have it. Hopefully they didn't have it here, and, you know, we could turn the Fiora into a 4-2 and then have the Judgment. Um, they had the card that, that they needed. So, I had to play Bayou Brunch. Because even if they would have just drawn it this turn, we would have been... The, re the reason challenge there is that then we would have been fine, because then the Fiora would have leveled up and gone to 2 health. Warden's Prey created. Shield up. So yeah, still just going to use Judgment to, you know, stay alive and everything. But yeah, it's just not like the instant win that it would have been with Fiora. All right, gonna do this, and then just black market merchant pilfer goods. I'm not sure exactly what the point of that casting that Evershade Stalker and then just, you know, telling me they had that in hand. I don't know exactly what the point of that was. But that is, this is a pretty annoying combo with, um, when, when you're trying to stabilize. Um, that is a pretty annoying combo with, uh, the Shark Chariot, sorry. That was Shark Chariot coming back. That's difficult to stop. Okay, found another Fiora. Let's go. I wish I had another mana for Repost. I guess, so basically, is Fizz, do I have to play Fizz and have Fizz block? I guess I'm not using that mana anyway. Because so, I'm going to use Unspeakable Horror on Shark Chariot. And then you block you, you block you, you block you, and... Oh, those things are fearsome? Night. Is this supposed to be a challenge? You're boring. Okay. That looks reasonable. Ooh, Doom Beast is nice. Get some Nexus healing in. Alright, before they get blockers, we'll just take out half their life total. And now I can, now like, you know, like their plan is going to be to attack with a whole bunch of stuff this next turn, and then I'll have Judgment. Be 
with the Fiora. Um, I'm hoping hoping they play this other stalker and kind of tap out of of you know unspeakable horror. They played unspeakable horror. I played one of their unspeakable horrors. So they probably only have one more of those. I'm just hoping they don't kill Fiora. Then I get to buy you brunch. All right, that's fine too. Pick an ally, you. Capture an ally, you. Okay, build your own 6-6 six, six Fiora. This is kind of a crazy game. <laughs> there we go. Still gotta make sure the puppers in the on cam. All right, so hopefully they just go real wide and you know spend eight mana, spend all their mana, go real wide attack. And then play another one of those. Perfect. Now attack. And there we go. I'll do it. Clean him up. Fiora with her big sword. Fiora ate some lizard soup and got all the power and then brought out the big sword and killed everything. Okay, Ezreal Victor. I have a, a donation deck for Ezreal Victor. That's that's one that we're probably going to get to tomorrow. Or so, you know, like... So that's going to be one that we're going to be playing soon. Victor Ezreal with some Go Hard. Um, he looks just fine. You know, last game we were on the uh, Fiora plan. This game we're on, like, the Fizz plan. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So they don't put those Gohards back into their deck. I'm getting like the free mystic shot. <clears throat> Alright, so they do kill my fizz. No way. But you know, like we take out their take out their Ezreal. So that's not too bad. Keep up, keep up. Alright, Victor's pretty scary. Metal is perfection. <laughs> yeah, that fist cancel animation's pretty sweet, right? <clears throat> Alright, I like I like Black Marker Merchant. Regeneration. What else you got over here? Ooh. Interative improvement with Sprayfin or with Black Marker Merchant. Both of those pretty good. Um, so if I do this, and then Merchant, we make a 3-2 Merchant, but then I, 
wouldn't get to pilfer goods. I think let's pil let's just go ahead and pilfer goods while that's in play. Hexcore Foundry. All right, I think I'm gonna copy Sprayfin. Not sure if I want to play the Foundry or not. I don't I don't know if this is I don't know if this is good for me. Cause they have like you know these really cheap interaction spells. Like it's this card makes that MK card that they have a whole lot better. And so I don't I don't know if I want to make that MK card a whole lot better. Need to be able to kill Victor though, but that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't grab the black market merchant because I wasn't. Um, I wasn't sure I'd be able to get additional damage. And we do have all these Tianas, and if, if they're if they're just drawing, you know, like the MKs and stuff, that things that deal a little bit of damage, maybe some Tianas can take over. This thing has Challenger and Overwhelm. I get to challenge my uh, Fizz and have Overwhelm. I don't even want to, like, I, you know, I have to do this, but I, I don't want to do this because it just gives them the Spiderling now. So, they just challenge the Spiderling. I had to hope that they would just be scared. I mean, obviously, I didn't have much of a chance, but I had to hope that they would be scared and uh, not want to use their spells. But, you know, obviously, that, that, you know, we know that they have, like, the MK spells um, that they keep putting in and stuff like that. Okay. We got uh Fate Elise. Okay, let's see. So we're playing against Go Hard. Tiana is good against Go Hard, but also costs eight mana. So I should probably mulligan it. Okay, we found another Tiana. Nothing but the stink of glory. I'm not sure how we're gonna protect the Fiora right now, but if we could protect Fiora, it would be very good. 
All right, I can't protect Fizz. There's nothing to fear. Okay, let's see, I guess. Let's play. <clears throat> So we're going to have to block and like we're, we're just going to have to block and trade because of our life total and everything. How am I going to protect you, Fiora? I haven't figured that out quite yet. There we go. <clears throat> okay, never mind. Uh, uh, never mind. Ledros. Yeah, they're doing a lot of different labs right now that you can play. You can't do this. You dare. No, Jettison. <laughs> the worst one. The actual worst one. I don't even know what that fortune croaker was saying there. Okay, eight mana. So they could have another vengeance. Because um, I kind of want to buy you brunch the three five onto the two one. Make Sprayfin, you know, make Sprayfin a five six. No, maybe we don't do that. Let's just get more elusives in here. Is it possible I pass and just have them waste all this mana? Probably not. Kind of expecting Withering Whale. We live here. Huh. Try again. Are they just like setting up Ruination or something? Good. Oh, they're doing that and then Twisted Fate Gold Card. Slash Withering Whale. Deal me in. Who says I don't share? By gold, I meant red card. I said gold, but I meant red. I should have passed. Should have passed. They would fall by my blade. Stay away from my pets. Should have passed. Just use some mana. Everything I've worked for. All right. That's gonna do it. GG's. Good removal with vengeance and uh, and ruination and stuff like that. They they kind of have everything. Okay, so Garen, Lux, Aurelian Soul. This is probably a Grand Plaza deck, if I would have had to guess. Black Market Merchant should be pretty powerful. Alright, let's not get Jettison. Let's get, you know, like, Chain Vest. Get Demacia card. Okay, Radiant Strike. Demacia card. We'll take it. And 
There's the plaza. Yep, that that combo is incredible. Here we go. The combo is incredible. We speak with blades. We fight for those who cannot. I never. Oh God. This allows me to keep repost available for single combat. But that was the problem: is that I wasn't good against pump spell. Hoping it was single combat, not pump spell. I did not want to use repost there. Grand Plaza is kind of unbeatable. I would not be surprised if this card gets nerfed. Because the card's kind of unbeatable. So they single combat here, killed my Fiora. Good ideas. Your favorite star. I created it. That's not good. Huge things like okay, Lux and Thrash. So some spooky mage seekers. I'm. This could definitely be a Grand Plaza deck. Also, I'm really hoping not. Yeah, I really hope not. Um, I guess you go away, and maybe I need to keep Concerted Strike. creatures in play first. Alright, Parlay can turn on um, Plunder for our Black Market Merchants. Try double black market merchant. Cool. That's a good name. No 
I kind of want them to keep all this, like, little stuff for my Fiora. Goes to four health. I'm, I'm thinking about playing, like, the four mana Concerted Strike here. And then that would take down the dragon. No. What I'm worried about... So basically what I'm worried about... Because I want to play Fiora. But what I'm worried about is them having single combat and killing my Fiora. What's the water like down there, guys? Cool. Got a single combat out of hand. That's good. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. The sun is shining. We should too. You're covered. I never hold back. Try me. You're annoying Vile Feast. We're looking at seven mana. Only enough for one removal spell, not two. So they spend two mana towards the Lux, so if they spend... There we go. They play something expensive. I think I just went to Vengeance. Obviously, we could we could go Concerted Strike to get another Fiora kill. Maybe we should do that. I just like how safe the Vengeance is, because if they have, like, Sharp Sight, and then, then they could keep their their Lux alive, and I don't want that to happen. We, we really just can't afford that to happen, so... Oh, come on. Another challenger? Stop. Guess I need to go Concerted Strike and turn Fiora into a 4 4. I still have that Fiora alive. Discipline and steal. Hmm. Got your back. I guess I shouldn't have played this Bright Steel Protector because I could have had Repost plus Judgment. Yeah, this is, this is a donation deck, Marowichi. I, did, I didn't build this one. Yeah, that's what the two Ds up here mean. Um. So yeah, we're at 5 out of 6 for Fizz. Hey, we got our own dragon. Yeah, I did, Cabo. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I built the Spooky Plaza and the the Victor Swain too. That was actually a donation deck for for me to build it. And I built those too. So we're going to cast. I don't know. I guess we're going to concerted strike this thing. I don't really want to do that, but I want to get elusive fizz. I don't know, maybe they play something better to kill? No. I must get out of here. Shield up. Mm. I'll stop you. Get him fizz. So I could do it with the dragon and they and like the dragon would grow a whole bunch. But doing it with the fizz, because it's hard for it's gonna be hard for them to kill the fizz. Giving that thing unyielding spirit. So they had Concerted Strike in hand? That's a bummer. I, I had already st stolen two of their Concerted Strikes. They just had another one. So they are completely out of Concerted Strike. So we know they have no more concerted strikes. Uh, do I let them draw two? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that means this is gonna fizzle. So fizz is not elusive anymore. I guess I should have concerted striked. Fizzled. Yeah, yeah. What's the water like down there, guys? Bayou brunch. Get out of here, Thresh. Glimpse beyonds. Kill me. Kill me, Glimpse Beyond. Kill me. So let's see. Ten. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. All the glimpse beyonds. They're gonna be like out of cards. <laughs> We're down to just 12. After us nabbing a bunch. Triscuits will be served. Single combat is just such a problem. So obviously I, I want to buy you brunch, the Tiana. 
And then we can attack for 11, 12, 13. Almost kill them. Wish we had two more mana. And we could have our post available also. I'm just going to try it. Why not? We're playing a silly deck. Let's, let's just try to do our thing. Hopefully no single combat. Okay, obviously they have single combat. That was not the smart line. It was not the smart play, but... But after losing three in a row, I just wanted to try to do something cool. No, I know it's not the smart play. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Y'all are glad I went for it. Cool. That egg? Did it move? A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. No, that's bad. Unfortunately, that's still game, right? Yeah, it's still game. Exact lethal. A waste of my time. You can't do this. We live here. GG's. It was only one battle. Okay, so Tiana, Lizard, Soup didn't work out the best, but it was fun and it was, you know, something a little different. Um, yeah, I think Sharp Sight would make a lot of sense in here as far as a, another pump spell uh, that could that works great with Fizz and Fiora. Uh, we, we, we were really struggling keeping Fizz alive and Fiora alive, basically both of them. And so, yeah, I could see that working out. Um, hmm. Didn't quite get the cool judgment kill. Uh, yep, GG's. Coral, yeah, Coral Creatures didn't really help, honestly. I think maybe that's... Coral Creatures, because that 1-2 that just didn't really do anything. That's what I think I would, I would recommend. I'd recommend just get rid of Coral Creatures, get Sharp Side in here. So think like how you you know, you know make the one mana spell that you're trying to use. The But you know sometimes you get Jettisons and other things that just aren't very good. I think you just cut out cut out the middleman, get rid of that Coral Creatures, just play Sharp Sight, and then, then you have that all you know right away for your Fizz and, F and your Fiora and everything. Because the 1-2 body doesn't matter, right? Like you're not killing anybody with the 1-2. It can block, I guess, but, you know, it just always just dies immediately. It doesn't really trade with anything. I think Sharp Side would just be a lot better for that slot. Um, yeah, that, that, could be a, a, that could be a nice little improvement there for the deck. Sharp Side's really powerful. All right, but there we go. That's Tiana Lizard Soup. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hopefully y'all had some fun. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.